Hi, in this video we will have a look at Excel date filters using Power Automate. So here is my Excel sheet and uh, I have got two columns name and due date. So the plan is to filter uh, by today's date which is 7th of January 2023. So if I filter using um, the date I should expect these two records Smith and Dave. Okay, so let's start building the flow. So before we go into the Power Automate build, I would like to say you need to create a table. Uh, otherwise, without a table, you won't be able to work within Power Automate. Okay, so for all the Excel sheets, you need to have a table. So make sure you create a table for before you go and read or write the information um, using Power Automate. Right, so let's start uh, building the flow. So suppose you want to filter, uh, you know, every day you want to check for today's date against um, the certain uh, dates and um, send a notification email or something. So for that, I'm going to use a scheduled trigger here. So that's a recurrence uh, trigger. So that's a scheduled trigger here. That's a recurrence trigger and I'm going to say it's going to run every uh, day. Okay, the next step is the Excel connector. Okay, so there are um, two Excel one Excel connectors here. So I'm going to use Excel online business one here. Okay. And um, then list rows present in a table. And here we need to select the location of the Excel sheet. Then the document library that is uh, my mine. It's a OneDrive where I store my file. Then uh, the file where it is uh, stored under. So the location it is under the flow demo and all members.xlx then at this time what uh, uh, what the connector will evaluate is it will look automatic it will look a table exist or not so if there is a table you should be able to see under the drop drop down box you see so without that you won't be able to you know do any operations in power automate for the excel excel um, sheet right okay so i uh, did the members now yeah then compose so let's have a look at uh, the table then. So that's the due date. See the due date? So I'm going to put a due date here and uh, try to run this flow now. Okay, flow ran successfully and uh, I can see, see there is a number I got. So that's the first, uh, there are three records there in my Excel sheet. So all of them turned out to be some numeric number here. So the reason for that is, you can see the date format and the default format is the serial number. That's the reason you got that. Okay, so I'm going to switch this to an ISO 8601 format, okay? And also I would like to say here is the format of the uh, due date. So the format cells of the due date, I haven't set anything specific to that, okay? You could set your date, you know, as a date field, uh, but I haven't set anything here, okay? So that's that. And uh, now I'm going to run the flow again and to see what happens. So here we go. So you can see it comes up with, uh, you know, even though in my Excel sheet, I only got, you know, DD MM YYY format, but it returned me as YYY MM DD along with our minute seconds, milliseconds and all, yeah. And there are three records also there. So how do we filter this? So there are two ways you can filter it. If I set it to ISO 601, I'm going to delete this apply to each now because I don't need that now. And the next thing I need to do here is the filter array here, filter, filter array. Okay, so under the filter array, I can say value. And then here, uh, what we need to do here is we need to have a format, a specific format we need here. So under the expression, we need this here. So I'll explain what the expression is. Format, date time, item, question mark, due date. That is, you know, this due date is the one of the property values coming, property value coming from the previous um, step. Um, so that's item, um, question mark, due date, then comma, y, 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 m, m, d, d. So I'm ignoring all the hours, minutes, and seconds which I shown earlier, okay? So that's that, is equal to comparing with today's date. So what is the today's date one? So today's date syntax is going to be similar, but instead of the item, I go, I'm having UTC now, okay? And except everything is the same, format, date time, UTC now, y, 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 m, m, d, d. 
here it is i'll put these two expressions under my video description okay click place the cursor here and click okay that that's done and now i'm going to run this flow now and to see what result we are going to get okay flow uh, ran successfully and uh, you can see here i got two records for today's date you can see that that's today's date and this is today's date i got smith and daily here okay so now edit again so how do we trade this so to trade all i need is uh, to um, under the control go to the apply to each because it's in an array now so take the collection of that array which is the body then inside that if you want to trade to those two values add a compose and under the combos we know the property value it's called uh, you know the one called the name and another one is called the due date so see the name and the due date so you need to put exactly the same as here also so for the expression it should be uh, give me the name which is item question mark square bracket name oh i forgot the single course there here we go and uh, i'm put, putting a hyphen there and putting another expression at the same time so item question mark uh, view date here we go let's click ok that and i'm going to run my flow again so hopefully this should give me uh, you know a bit more uh, readable format than earlier which i shown the results so um, now under the apply to each i got two records and i'm expecting two records only here which is today's date smith and dale and uh, if i go here you can see smith and dale here see again see the format to come back to this then so if you want to just show that you know the date in the uh, in a proper uh, format what you could do here is you could say format date time bracket and that's item and i'm going to format with comma uh, then the syntax is dd slash mm slash y y y that's the for there are different format out there so this is my preferred format and uh, click on update that's done now and uh, click on the test and run again and we will see the results hopefully in a more user-friendly date format Here we go. See that? 7-1-2023, 7-1-2023. So it's all good news now here. Okay. Now let's go back. I'm going to delete this now. So we know how to iterate the values also after filtering the array. Okay. So, uh, okay. Forgot to say that. So in this case, then if you want to notify someone, you can have the send email and under the you know um, go to the office 365 outlook connector send email and then here you can say the two address is coming from there then probably you can say add uh, add dynamic content and then you can click on the expression and type item question mark if you got an email address you will say email address something like that you know and that email address should be part of your excel sheet that's one of the property values but i don't have i don't have it here so suppose the instead of name it should be it is email address or something that's where i need to do it and I click ok that so here we go and then you can send uh, you know the notification email out so i'm going to delete this now and uh, delete this so let's go in back to uh, the the iso one so i'm going to put serial number now okay so what will happen when you use the serial number okay so uh, in the serial number again uh, you know we need to do a little bit work here to convert that date then okay so how to do that i'll show you now okay so before i do the filter right i'm going to delete this so earlier when we add the combos i'm going to add the combos here and select that and put the due date so uh, we see that that was coming uh, you know converted that into a number a serial number yeah i'm going to add another combos also here and uh, use uh, another expression to convert it so i'll show you the expression so um, let me uh, put that expression here so that you can clearly see it let me close that put here as add not and put it here that here we go so see that so that's the formula you need to use it add days 1899-12-30 int of that item due date again the due date is my property name from the you know the column name from my excel sheet then y y y m on dd so let's see what's of what's uh, what what i'm going to get here
Okay, so you can see, see that's 44934, but when I use the formula, it's it's 2023 that's the format. You know, that's the right uh, uh, format. So let's see uh, from my Excel sheet. Here we go, see that, 8-1-2023. So it's 8 one twenty three because I set the format as YYYMMDD. So if I pl click on the next one, that is the today's date and I got another one also in today's date. So here it is. See that? So uh, how do we filter this using the serial number then? So we can use the same technique to come, uh, you know, you, you use for the filter then. So if I go back here and say filter array. Again, map the values and then here I'm going to use the same uh, expression here, which is this. So that's going to give me, uh, you know, uh, that format of uh, the converting that uh, the serial number into the actual date format is equal to the same, um, uh, you know, the formula which we applied er earlier because um, that is format date time bracket UTC uh, now um, two brackets commas two single quotes y y y y dash m on dash dd. So cursor there and click OK. That is equal to if you want to keep it less than or greater than, you know, change it accordingly. Okay, so that's what that is. So now I'm going to delete this again. I don't need that. And now uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a control here and to say apply to each and then map the values coming from the filter array of that body. That's a result of that filter array. Then add a compose action step. And um, here, uh, you know, I'm going to say, I know there are two values in that. One is the name and the, you know, the date. And uh, here I'm going to say item question mark, view date. Click OK at that. And then I can add another compose as well if I want. And um, I'm going to say get that name also. So here under the expression, I'm going to say item question mark name single quotes. Okay, that now trying to run this manually again and see what the result is going to be. So it should be same as you know the ISO one ISO filter what we did earlier. Well, here we go. It's been filtered. So let's see the filter here. So is it is it filtered only two records? Yes, it's only filtered two records. That is for today's date. And uh, under the apply to each, you can see uh, that's again that numeric number. So if you want to convert into the numeric number again, apply that same formula which I shown earlier here, in the meaningful format if you want. And then the uh, you know uh, the value which is Smith, and the next one is the Dale one. You can see here Dale. So the let's change that also here. The so which is this. Okay, so I can remove this now here the, and uh, put the same expression here also. Oops, place your cursor there and click OK that. Yeah, now I'm going to run it again and to see what the result is going to be. Okay, so that's done. So hopefully that date should be in a readable format. That's uh, today's date. It's filtered against today's date. Again, uh, that's filtered against today's date. So, uh, you know, in Excel sheet, there are a couple of ways you could do it. And, uh, you know, my preferred pre preferred uh, way is always is the ISO one, because, uh, you know, then I can rely on a proper date format. I don't need to use uh, this uh, complicated formula also. Okay. Thank you for watching. Hope this is useful.